Hey guys, so today we're kind of, well, um, we're going to be making a part series on Girls Frontline, because I think that it's a fun game, and it's not just some game for people who are, like, extremely obsessed with anime, it's actually, <clears throat> it's actually a strategy-based game, and there's uh, multiple levels, like, I, I'm still, I'm actually still trying to complete, like, the second chapter. <clears throat> So this first, this first part of this video series is going to be about the factory. So the factory, you basically on tea doll production, you can choose a recipe for a certain like tea doll you like. Tea dolls are the people that you use to fight. Um, and then, and then you can craft them, and it takes tea doll contracts, and it also takes time. You can use quick production, but I'm pretty sure whenever you use quick production, um, it decreases the chance of getting a high, high rarity tea doll. Um, and then heavy production beside the um, IOP. Heavy production is basically this production, except it all um, takes dummy cores. We'll talk about dummy cores later. And the reason it takes dummy cores and also other other resources that you need to play the game, like up in my top um, top right, you can see manpower ration, um, gears, and some crap, and ammo. So yeah, and it takes that, and it takes dummy cores, because you can craft a specific tea doll, which is shotgun tea dolls. And in normal production, you can only craft, craft all the sub, sub machine guns, assault rifles, sniper rifles, machine guns, and handguns. Um, so yeah, so that's really it on production. So dummy linking, dummy linking. You can take you, t you can take a you can take a tea doll that you have, and it takes dummy cores. Dummy cores are really important, and you can dummy link them, and that basically gives them an extra unit. Like here, see this this tea doll that I have. This says current formation, and also if you're wondering where I got here, I got here by looking at the bottom of the screen and pressing armory. See it has. I've um I've dummy linked this one three times, so it has there's three three um three T doubles in one, and that's how you can get more T doubles than you can have by default. Like you, by default, you can only have five T doubles, but now since you can like, duplicate them in the same T doll, you can have like you can have a lot. Um, down at the so like a normal one would start at like times one and then one once they get to a certain level they'll become times two like this one and then you can um, w link it once pretty sure that hits when it hits level like it gets to one and then the next one up is level is times three pretty sure that's when it hits like i don't know it hits like a, a pretty high number though and then you can eventually get it to times five and that's the max it can be um so that's it for um dummy linking tea doll enhancement so you can you can find a tea doll that you have oh and if you want to enhance it, you can use other tea dolls that you that you don't need. Like I'll just use all of these tea dolls to enhance one of my units. And see, and that and it gives the unit that you have selected more of like every stat, depending on how much stuff. And then there's these like pill things down here that enhances one stat over time you use one and there's a max but the max the max amount of stuff um depends on like
like the rarity of it. So that's kind of it for that one. That one's pretty short. Okay, retirement and disassemble. So you need T dolls that you just got. You haven't used in combat at all. And they can give dummy cores. Um, level, no matter how many level two T dolls you use, you can't, you can't get, you can only get items like manpower ration and ammo and gears and stuff from two stars. But then three stars, you get all of that stuff, including a singular dummy core. From a four star, you get all that stuff, including a singular, no, no. Three dummy cores, I think. And then with five star, you get um, well, you, you get five. You get five dummy cores. Okay, well, that, that's that's about all for disassemble. Um, okay, equipment production. Um, it takes a while to unlock this. It's basically normal T doll production. Um, no production, except you um. You basic, except you're basically um like crafting like certain items that can boost like boost abilities of your Tito. So here, I'll show you one. Like you can make a couple. Oh yeah. Also, quests are thing. You just go to your quest thing near the bottom of the screen and collect those. Um, here, here's a Tito, and this Tito has a suppressor. You know that's. That's a pretty good one. This one has a uh, thing. That one has an accessory too. That one has an accessory. This one has better bullets. So yeah, all of all of my main forms have accessories. And um, you get those accessories by crafting them. Look, I have I have one that's complete, so I can go ahead and just like go ahead and open it. stars. See this this is probably like one of the worst ones but then you can go to here here you can favorite some you can go to all you can go to four star you can go to five star usually I go to four five star um well actually four star would probably be best um because I'm Trying to get one of these, one of these um heavy bullets packages, because they give you like more bullets and stronger bullets. So that's kind of it on factory. Um, I hope you guys like this video. I I just thought, hey, I've seen a lot of people making tutorials on this, but then the thing is, um. <coughs> thing is I've never seen anyone actually like really show you what to do. They've just told you and then they just been like have at it and then they just they just they just they tell you what to do but they don't show you how. They might but I haven't seen one that actually does that. And some of them are seen to just play stuff. But yeah, I probably stuttered a lot here in this video. Probably, it's like one of my first times making videos, so... No, it's on... It's, I, I honestly stutter a lot when I went talking in general. It's quite annoying sometimes. But yeah, well, I think for the end of the video, I'll just... <coughs> just show you guys some... Some of the standard combat that you can find. Also, if you're seeing this video, like, if you're seeing this video somewhat recently, it's, it's almost, um, it's almost Halloween, and they're, they're having their freaking pandemic event, and there's special stages for the pan, for the freaky pandemic event, and you can get special items on it, too. Everyone should probably hop on, hop on it and get to grinding to try and get good, to try and get, um, to try and get good stuff.
stuff from, from the event and stuff. But, yeah. Um, that's probably all for 